today we'll see some key tips for a vfx artist to become a new geek let's see hey tip number 1 nuke always helps you here i have an nuke here i'm just taking a checkerboard now so here is a checkerboard and i'm just going to take a blur note yeah we are just blurring the checkerboard and then we can see the a uh, lot of options are here we have the filters we have the mix option and uh, there are a lot of options for individual notes so if we have any doubt in this properties or options just click on the question mark over here and it will redirect us into the online or offline guidelines for new for individual notes and their properties we can see the properties and the settings and options of blur node over here so make use of this options and here we can see a lot of uh, materials for helping us to gain knowledge about everything about the shortcuts about the documentation about nukepedia and there are a lot of online stuff as well so make use of this tip number 2 is searching nodes through tcl command so we will take the tcl command line by pressing shortcut x okay. so two types of command line python and tcl we are just seeing the tcl so i'm just typing blur capital b l u r just blur uh, typing that gives a blur node now i'm just checking scanned grain i want to uh, just keep in mind the sp correct spelling and the correct uh, extension i mean the upper case or lower case here here we can see the scan again by typing the correct upper case and the correct spelling i just want to take a camera node through the tcl command the caps c we can see here and uh, if i'm just typing a small c yeah it is showing unknown command so always keep in mind the correct class name of every node so that we can just type in i mean the uh, tcl command line and we can produce a node so by pressing i on individual node we can see the class name also and other information also will be visible there so tip number 3 is we can customize the layout in our own idea so this is the default layout for nuke we can customize this as our own needs yeah we can see pane tabs a lot of properties are there so i'm just going to customize it now here i'm just going to split the pane horizontally and we can even split it i mean uh, it was vertical now i split it horizontal also so the next option is float pane so this is a pane and this is a tab so i'm just going to float a pane here yeah this pane i'm just going to float a pane what will happen yeah it came uh, above the layout so it came separately so we can close it also and yeah i just close these panes and now we will see the next options here we can see the tab properties i mean uh, this is just yeah float pane i just closed it now i, I here we can see the tab properties i am just Uh, creating some tabs over here properties yeah uh, some script editor i'll just yeah, script editor so uh, these all are tabs actually tabs three tabs in one pane now i'm just going to see is going to close that pane tab now we have two tabs here i if i give solo tab means only the tab which we gave will remain and other tabs will be closed in that pane only that tab will be solo no i just cleared that tab also i mean show we can uh, like uh, in windows we can auto hide the task bar like that we can auto hide this also so now i'm just going to split it horizontally and i am just uh, yeah here i am just creating a tab i mean the tools toolbar so this is the layout which i need now 
so I just want to keep the top sheet over here we can just drag it and uh, keep it here hold hold on the paint to keep it there here we can see saving and uh, I mean resetting the workspace these all are named as workspace even the shortcuts can be seen here yeah. now I'm just going to create this workspace so I'm just giving a name over here and assigning a shortcut for the uh, workspace okay yes it's created now the shortcut is also assigned and the workspace is uh, created now what the thing which I'm going to do is I'm just uh, going to keep this layout as my default layout whenever I open new this layout has to be open so for that I need to go to preferences here we can see yeah here we can see the layout default layout we have to change it to our customized layout and just close the nuke so whenever we open the new we can see yeah now I'm just going to close the nuke here yeah now what whenever I open the nuke the layout which we customized are being opened so so make use of this tutorial and uh, this is a famous saying by me actually so if you feel right and if you feel wrong just know your thoughts on the comment section below follow my page, facebook page madlux vfx for more vfx updates Always like, comment, subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.